Uh, we're here with, the, with Jesse Scroggins, and uh, and Jesse, it seemed like today you got a, a, a few more reps than you've gotten in the last couple of practices. And w would you say this might might have been one of your best days you've had so far? Uh, yes, definitely. Uh, this week I prepared well uh, in a in the uh, weight room, film room. I felt like this week was a good week for me and the rest of the quarterbacks. Uh, we came in last week, had nine uh, nine turnovers, and this week we, we we strive to make less turnovers. So we all, you know, worked hard, get our reads down, and that's how we all feel. Are there certain aspects of your game that, you, that you, you're focusing on during the spring to work on to get better? Uh, yes, uh, playbook, definitely playbook. It'd be okay. number one. Uh, fall, you know, it was kind of hard because I wasn't, you know, getting the reps at the same time. But now that we're all getting the reps and doing a playbook at the same time, it's helping me get, get better at the same time. So I, I definitely playbook. Well, where would you rate your, your confidence level right now? On confidence? A uh, I got to definitely think about that one. Confidence right now, I say about 70, about 70%. Yeah. Getting up there, definitely, especially Coach. Coach definitely helped me with my confidence. Telling us uh, volume reflects confidence. So, you know, me being louder, I feel like I'm taking more control, and I, I definitely like that. Well, just as, a, as an observer out there, you know, it's, it's one thing. You kind of walk up to the line of scrimmage and carry yourself like, you know, you're ready to do this. Oh, yeah, definitely. That's how you got to carry yourself. Can't show no fear to the defense. Because if you do, they'll start playing with the defense, moving around like, oh, this kid don't know what he's doing. So that's why you just got to go out there with confidence, act like you know what you're doing. Look and move your head around, just whatever you feel is comfortable to you. And that's what I feel is comfortable, walking up, seeing what the defense is doing. And that's how I go from there. Well, you're definitely exuding that confidence level. And uh, and, and today was definitely an impressive day. But, man, it's got to be tough on you guys with that defensive line coming at you like they are. Oh, definitely. Actually, it's kind of competitive and fun because it actually definitely uh, pushes us back in our drop. Uh, Coach definitely been saying that. If you don't get back, you definitely get your feet stepped on, your ankle broke or just fall over, and that, that's what we've been working on, getting back, and we like that pressure. Did you have any specific goals or expectations heading into spring? Uh, Football-wise, just to get better, but majority uh, academic-wise. That was my main focus in the spring, was to uh, get better in school. And is Coach Baxter a big help as far as, you know, improving Oh, definitely. Academics? Actually, he's been helping us become a man, definitely, to the yeah. fullest. Uh, our commitment to our school, it's like he's trying telling us not to fight it. It's, it's, it is what it is. You got, you hear. It's a part of the thing, so why not do it? And that's what you're getting to us. Can you just, you know, just we'll end this interview with just a few comments about uh, Coach Clay Helton? Oh, Clay Helton, definitely. Uh, I like the guy. I love the guy, actually. He reminds me of my high school coach, and I love him, too. So, definitely, uh, Clay Helton, he reminds he just makes us laugh. He never gets mad at us, and that's what helps us uh, reflect confidence. Because, if, like, sometimes some guys are sensitive, and it's like if you yell at them, they won't do right, but him, he, he knows he just gets all, all on the same page, talks to us, lets us know what's going on, and that's how it is. Yeah, he definitely isn't a coach that comes after you and yells he's at you after you make a mistake. He's not a coach at all. Uh, he's Clay Helton, really, and I love him for that. And, he, and he's just, you know, it just seems like he's always trying to, you make a mistake, he's going to tell you how to do it differently yeah, the next Yeah, definitely, because we're going to come back to it. He doesn't want you to end like that. He's not going to let you end on a bad play. He's going to let you come back to it, redeem yourself. Because that's what they're evaluating, is if you can make that mistake or not make that mistake again. What's it like uh, being able to throw to somebody like Robert Woods? Uh, it's, it's competing with him before this and yeah. not throwing to him. <laughs> it's just like, wow, it's a small world, actually. And it's like, I'm got, I got, it's God's gift, really. There's going to be some, some pretty solid additions to the receiver court, oh, yeah, too, in the fall. Definitely. What we got now, what we got added on, uh, it's going to be hard. Stop it. Well, it's hard to imagine there's a better wide receiver core in the nation and, and quarterback core, oh, for yeah. that matter. Oh, not at all. Uh, I think we are the best. Like, not just being SC. Being SC and who we have, we just got competitors, and we're not scared of anything. Jesse, thanks a lot, man. Appreciate Thank you taking the time to talk to us.